Hey guys, today we're going to talk about how you can make a click track in Audacity. This is basically just a metronome track that will keep you on beat as you're performing. It prevents you from speeding up and slowing down while making sure all the instruments lock together nicely. It's also good if you're looking to use virtual instruments or loops which require a solid beat. So to create a click track, we'll open the Generate menu and click Click Track. This will open the menu to make a click track and then we'll have a number of different options here. The first option we have is for Tempo, which lets you set the tempo of the click track to between 30 and 300 beats per minute. You'll want to experiment with this setting depending on how fast you want the song to go. Alright, so we've created a click track and now we can listen back to it. As you can hear, it creates a very steady sharp click that will easily cut through any of the other tracks to get layered on top of it after. The next option we should talk about is the number of beats per measure. Since the first beat of each measure in the click track is accented, this is an important option. It can be set anywhere from 1 to 20 beats per measure. For example, a song in 4-4 timing would have 4 beats per measure. Unfortunately, this only works with basic timings and does not work with other timings such as 7-8. For this example, we'll create a click track as if we were in 3-4 timing. Now you can see based on the peaks, we have one high peak followed by two smaller ones, meaning that we have three beats per measure. One of the other options we can control is the click track duration. This can either be done by adjusting the number of measures or by setting a time duration for the entire track. So now we've created a shorter click track. You can adjust this accordingly to the length of the song you're working on. If you're not sure how long you need it to be, you can always just set it longer and cut it down once you're finished recording. The last set of options we have is to control the sound of the click itself. The first option is for the duration of the click and is measured in milliseconds. This doesn't really matter much, so I typically leave it alone. You can also change the click sound between ping, noise, and tick. The last few controls just affect the pitch of the click track and don't really make a difference since the click track shouldn't be included in your final mix anyways. So that covers how to add a click track in Audacity. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. You can also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to keep up with all our new videos. Links to our social media can be found in the video description.